How are we doing? Uh oh. Oh, what? What? Are you wearing like a smoking jacket? We can't hear you. It's nice. Now? There you go. You got it now. <laughs> Hugh Hefner over there. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you can't smoke inside, but at least you can wear something that does. It works. Uh, for sure. Does it? <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. You are in a throne, a wicker throne. Yes. <laughs> yes, and I prefer that since I am the oldest, even here on your birthday, Mark. Uh, and you will I'll always, always be, be the oldest. That's you right. Will you will always be the oldest. The character's name is Earl. I don't even look like an Earl. I mean, maybe I do today, but I don't even look like an Earl. So I'm like, I'm not doing it. And he's like, you need to the do Earl it. Earl of Wicker. Sorry. The, keep going. the Earl of Rattan. <laughs> Rattan. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. So, so I tried to wrap that up for you. So sorry. you did great. You did great. Okay. Thank Earl you. Earl of Rattan. I was just going to say. It's, uh, I'm beginning to feel regal. Is it Earl of Rattan or Carl of Rattan? Could be the Carl of Rattan. The, the, the Carl? <laughs> could, be the, could be the Carl. The Carl. <laughs> Gentlemen, please welcome the Carl of Rattan. Kneel before the Carl of Rattan. <laughs> As I rock in my rocking chair. You can chair. have a the Carl, you can't have a the Earl. Um, so yeah, no, all is good. Oh, nice. Look at that. Is that your bounce pad? Yes. Simple mouse pad. Just give us a little props. There we go. When Patrick calls me and says, hey, I got this house and there's a lake and we got, you know, can kayaks and canoes. And we can have some fun. Bring the kids up. And I was like, what are you doing? He says, Conjuring 3. And I went, oh, that's okay. Cool. Awesome. Hung up the phone with him. Called my agent. I'm like, you got to get me something to read for. Just something. I want to surprise him. Just do something. So I get these three parts. And one I really, really wanted to do. I spent all day on the rehearsal and did the audition. And then another one was pretty cool. And I was like, yeah, that's fun, a couple of pages. And the other one had one line. I send it off. And then I call Patrick. I'm like, by the way, do you have your script? He's like, yeah, what script? I'm like, you know, conjuring script. Do you, go to page, you know, whatever it was, nine or so. I said, who is Ed? Because I don't see any of them in this script. I see Earl and I see Ted. And Patrick goes, there's no Ted and there's <laughs> no Earl in the script. And I'm thinking, oh, my agent sent me the wrong damn script. And then Patrick says, wonderfully, wait a minute. Ted is Ed. I'm Ed, Carl's the dad. Oh my gosh, you just auditioned for the dad. And then they offered me the job of Carl instead of Earl. So, and it was a lot of fun, obviously, to share the time with him and to see these two greats, Vera and Patrick, really helm this franchise and take it to, I think what's interesting about this one is that, you know, not to limit it, but it goes from kind of a haunted house story to now it turns into kind of a borderline pr police procedural or legal case. When you have an actual murder and you have a homicide, and this is the first time in US history that, uh, that, that demonic possession has been used as an alibi, right? So automatically you're, in a, you're not tied to one family. You're now in the legal system, judicial system. You know, it, it becomes a much broader scope. You know, I know we did, wait, I shouldn't say we did. I joke about we doing Big Stone Gap. You guys did Big Stone Gap together. Well, you were um, in it too. Well, You're in it too. Everyone well, was in it. Yeah. yeah. Does the bluegrass band off to you? Yeah. Yeah, of course it counts. Everything counts. Um, but you guys have shared a little bit. They'll of never time. unmake that movie, Mark, just so you know. So you're always no, That's in. true. That's true. I get that. It was so awesome and exciting to have, uh, to have Paul be a part of this. I mean, because it's, again, it's this, you know, hugely successful franchise and, uh, and I knew, and I knew he'd be great in the role. And he's got some fun stuff to do. I mean, that's the thing is like if you're gonna be, if you're gonna be in a horror movie, like you know, you hope you get, <laughs> without giving too much away, you get to hope you get to scream, run around, get some blood on you, get hurt, you know, <laughs> scare somebody or be scared. I mean, there's all these fun events that can happen in a horror movie because they generally are a little larger than life. So it was a double whammy to be able to have Paul be a part of the movie because like you said, like the movie's now he's he's part of the Conjuring franchise. And I don't, I don't, I certainly don't take that for granted now after four movies in. It's defined so much of what I've done in the past nearly 10 years. Um, so it's very cool that he's, that he's now got a piece of it. Uh, I think we lost Patty here for a second. Uh... Totally just lost power, but it's back on. Whole house. Oh, in the power. house? The whole house. No, the ghost. It's a ghost. <laughs> we were talking about conjuring and you lost power. 
Hmm. You know, knowing that theaters are coming back all across the country, it's I'm so excited that 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 we're at the the forefront of that. You know, I think horror movies can um, can really get 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 people back into that communal space. There's nothing like it. So I'd encourage everybody to go see this on the big screen if you can. Uh, be safe, distant, all whatever you need to do in your respective towns. But this is a uh, this is a movie to see with a bunch of people. This is a, it's a very unusual experience. Um, when you've got three people in this film from the from the area, that you know, um, Eugene Bondurant, who plays our occultist in the movie, who's fantastic and awesome, uh, and of course teaches acting in St. Pete. She's such a great actress, and really talk about leaning into the role. Um, she does such a fabulous job. So Tampa Bay is well represented here in this one, huh? To see her in there, to see Paul, and of course. You know my mug up there. It's uh, there's there's a lot of Tampa Bay on that screen, which is ex which is always exciting. So, yay Tampa Bay! As if we don't already win this year. <laughs> Go Bolts!